Okay, so you guys remember that one video where I said my foul was corrupted? Yeah, this is this video. And if you were wondering if I started on that one already, I did, but you know, I'm gonna just scratch that one because it's not really up to date. So hopefully this one don't get corrupted either because that would be very much a pain in my ass. So in today's battle, we're gonna be putting Adam Eve versus Raven. And I'm gonna tell you who exactly is gonna win this battle. Let's get into it. So yeah, I saved this one for last because let's be honest, no one really gives a shit about duplicate like that. Like, I don't even really care about about putting her against someone else but we may do that later maybe but right now this is the last team titans versus team team video so i hope you guys enjoyed the series let's move on and also make sure you're not watching this video intoxicated you may forget to subscribe you know what guys i just realized something i never forget looking up a female character and this is why and we'll just put it out there i'm gonna be honest all right i'm probably in one of the most down bad moments of my life right now so yeah this is pretty dangerous okay so first we're gonna start off with adam e well who is adam e Adam Eve, aka Samantha Eve Wilkins, is an experimental biologically altered child that was made to be used as a weapon for the government. The scientist Arius Brandyworth, whom is the creator of Adam Eve, later regrets experimenting on her, so he traded the child with a dead child of another family. Eve went to live with the Wilkins and they named her Samantha Eve Wilkins. In school, she was considered a science prodigy since she already knew everything about science that anyone could teach her, which turned out to be an early manifestation of her powers. Before becoming a hero, she was warned by the mysterious scientist who helped create her that she should never use her powers, for if used, they can lead to her downfall. She goes on to defy these warnings, realizing that she has the power to change the world for the better, she joins the team team. Okay, so that was Adam Eve's origins, now let's talk about her powers and feats. Well, Adam Eve is crazy powerful, and I mean crazy powerful. She's able to manipulate matter at a subatomic level, meaning that she can essentially turn anything into anything she wants, while also simultaneously having the ability to manipulate energy. Yeah, she's a pretty fucking cool character. And since she's a pretty cool character, I'm gonna have to give you guys a list of her powers because it's a decent amount. So of course she has genius level intellect, subatomic matter manipulation, immortality, regeneration, resurrection, flight, telekinesis, force fields, elemental control, energy blast, and of course, energy construct construction. All right, now let's talk about the feats. Okay, so this is about to get crazy, but this girl got a lot of showings. I mean, she's able to easily beat Flaxons, have pretty good sensory awareness, casually block bullets, move around hundreds of tons of debris, take on or subdue Viltrumites or even the top tier ones, or just people that is equivalent to Viltrumites power. She constantly, and I mean constantly, brings herself back from the dead or in times when she's dying. So yeah, she's essentially immortal because her powers literally don't allow her to die. She's also able to bring other people back from the dead, seeming how she was able to completely bring Invincible back with her. And she was even able to go against Conquest, and even though he essentially killed her, she came right back from the dead, much stronger, and created a blast so powerful that it was literally able to burn his entire body to a fucking crisp. And might I mind you that Viltrumites can be equivalent to being able to take out a planet if just only three of them was able to use their full power. And that's not where it ends either. She was able to take out hordes, and I mean hordes, of Viltrumite hybrids. And they wasn't even able to get through her shield so easily. Yeah, she's fucking insanely powerful. Okay, so we got Adam Eve out the way, but what about Raven? Okay, so who is Raven? Well, Raven was born the half-breed daughter of a human mother named Angela Ra and the demon overlord Emperor Trigon. She was conceived when her mother ran away from home and joined a cult, which then summoned the demon lord Trigon, who raped her. Angela Roth retreated to an alternative dimension named Azeroth, where Raven was born and raised. Growing up, Raven was taught to control her emotions by the Azar and the Azeronian monks in order to suppress and control her inherited demonic powers. Eventually, she learned that Trigon was planning to come to her dimension and vowed to stop him. She intentionally approached the Justice League, but they refused her on the vice of Datana, who sensed her demonic parentage. In desperation, she reformed the Titans as the new Teen Titans to fight her father. Okay, so that's Raven's origins, now let's talk about her powers and feats. Okay, so Raven is going against Adam Eve, so she has to be powerful, right? Well, you're damn right she is. Okay, so this is about to be a lot. Raven is an expert martial artist. Incredible knowledge about mystical artifacts, spells, and spell books. Vast mystical powers, astral projection, force field creation. She's an empathy, which essentially means she can feel and manipulate other people's emotions. Levitation, umbra 
Kinesis, which is the ability to manipulate light and shadows because she can manipulate the energy that can be drawn from any source of light or darkness. Flight, psionic abilities, advanced telekinesis, telepathy, thought projection, spiritual powers, healing magic, mediumship, soul sealing, spell casting, telekinetic spells, and tangibility, necromancy, illusion casting, and fucking finally, limited precognition. Whew, god damn, I didn't have to catch my breath saying that. Okay, now let's talk about the feats. Well, Raven was able to hold her own against the JLA. She was able to put a head case in a coma, a person that was able to defeat people like Wonder Girl, etc. Fulton defeated Trigon, and Mystical Phoenix says she can rival her in power. She can even one-shot her demonic family, has no problem handling the Titans, beats up Envy, one of the seven deadly sins, and one of the demons claims that Raven's full potential can potentially bring down the heavens with ease and destroy planets, if she so true so. Okay, so who wins this battle? Well, this is the most obvious fucking battle here, but I'm sorry, Adam Eve, but you're getting stumped in this battle. And I mean stump, stump. While Adam Eve does have some impressive feats, those feats are nowhere near what Raven can do. She made the Titans look like steel fucking puppets. In one, she beat Trigon, which I'm pretty sure can solo a full planet of Viltrumites if need be. She's a multiversal fucking threat. Yeah. Raven wins. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell, and I'm out. Peace.